Hello everyone, welcome to my auditing class lecture series. I hope you remember our previous classes on internal check system for payment of wages for stores and now in today's class we are going to see the internal check system regarding cash transactions. So assume that a cashier at the bank or not accountable to anyone else. So he's a sole responsible person. He receives the amount and he will uh, make payment also. He is not accountable to anyone. You know that cashier receive a lot of money. Goes. Then tell me what will happen if he is not accountable to anyone else or no other person is going to check uh, how much he is going to give or how much he is going to receive. So nobody uh, is going to overlook his activity. In that situation, definitely cash is a thing which prompts anybody to be dishonest. Cash is much needed by everyone so which uh, uh, promote the employees to become dishonest. Maybe some uh, of the employees are good. Maybe if you are in that place, I am very well sure that you will not become dishonest. But we cannot uh, generalize the things to everyone. So some people uh, may do like this. So out of the entire amount, they may put some amounts to the counter and some to their own pocket. This is possible only when the employee is the sole responsible for the entire cash transaction. My the company only, all cash transactions karna obbari nodi kulta idhar enta hidre. So there is the possibility that they can be dishonest and they can mismanage or misappropriate the cash. So now to avoid these kind of things, which necessitate internal check system for cash transaction. So this cash transactions internal check system can be learned in three forms. The cash receipts, cash payments and petty cash payments. So these three or will be learned in detail. The first one cash receipts. So in case of cash receipts, the possible ways of cash misappropriation. How can a cashier misappropriate the cash because it's very important to know these ways otherwise we will not able to check these kind of things so the first one cash received but not recorded in the books 500 rupees received for the sales but we have not recorded this 500 rupees in the books 500 rupees received as honorarium but we are not recorded 500 rupees or 5000 rupees received as a donation but we are not recorded in the books. So once it is not recorded in the books that indicates that the entire amount goes to a cashier's personal pocket and not to the company. Smaller amount mentioned in the books than what is received. For example, a person gives 5000 rupees to the cashier but cashier records only 500 rupees. The remaining balance 4,500 rupees will be used by the cashier for his personal purpose. And the third one, a part of the received amount may be held back lapping it with the subsequent receipt. For example, a part of the received amount out of 5,000 rupees, 500 rupees kept with the a cashier. And he is going to record this 500 rupees along with the next receipt so the next receipt is after a month a one thing nantara next receipt en bartade alli a amount anna record maartare so next receipt bandanta the 500 rupees so 500 plus this lapping 500 so total 1000 rupees he will record but the thing is for one month 500 rupees is not with the company it's with the cashier uh, 100 rupees is good. Uh, the cashier would take it to our personal purpose. Utilize mark on it for one month. Our uh, company utilization is our Hana Siko Dilla. 
it's also a, 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 a form of misappropriation. So, regarding cash receipts, they have given various tips. So, let us see one by one. Only cashier should be authorized to receive the cash. So, in a small uh, uh, shops, you can see that so if there are three salesmen, all the three salesmen will receive the amount. So, more than a salesman is there in the other more than a salesman is called our sales are the Kahana and receive master. But it should, it's not the proper way. So, only cashier should be authorized to receive the cash. Cash and receive Madhuan Kadu, cashier Matrave Agirbeku, and none other than the cashier uh, have to receive the cash amount. As soon as the cash received should be recorded in a rough cash book or cash daily. For example, uh, you have a vegetable stall, 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 you have a sales book. So for that reason, so they should record in rough cash book or cash diary. So in cash book or cash diary, so adrally first record mark. Immediately after the transaction, after receiving cash, they should write like this. So then after they can post these entries to sales list. Should not be allowed to do cash payment from the cash receipt. So here cashier received the cash amount and he cannot make payment out of the cash receipt. Cashier, cash na receive madli ki matra responsible, but he is not the responsible for making payment. Or if you payment kali ki samanda patta hagi, you are a responsible person agir ne ke saath ye illa. Cashier should be a provided, sorry, cashier should be prevented from making entry in the books of prime entry. So here, books of prime entry, maybe the journal entries or maybe the uh, uh, ledger account. So prime entry means, so which is the first books of accounts. So cashier should not be responsible for the prime entries. So he should, he should record the entries only in a rough cash book. But for the cash book entries, so there should be a separate accounting person. The amount of cash and check received should be deposited to bank daily. On a daily basis, they should deposit the cash as well as the checks received for the day. So, our prati dina kuda than a deposit might be cut today. So, once in our baki trun helidru kuda, so there is a high risk in the company. Company only has a risk and indicate my talk today. So, they might have any things to happen. So now to avoid those things, they should submit the cash and checks uh, daily basis. There should be a separate person to deposit in bank. So if the cashier himself cannot go to bank and deposit the things, so there should be a separate person to visit the bank and to submit the cash and check. Foiled receipts should be cancelled and must be uh, detached from the counterfeit. So, if any received book, if any received sheet fall, so in such situation which should be cancelled. So, which, which should be cancelled and detached from the counter files. So, then a cancelled and the bardu are received in a counter files fill in the uh, separate mark will be cut A bank reconciliation statement should be prepared at regular intervals. I hope you remember why we should prepare reconciliation statement. The reconciliation statement is tallying the cash book as well as the passbook. You know that passbook entries are made by the bank and cash book entries are made by the company. So if we prepare reconciliation statement, we'll see the balance in cash book as well as the balance in passbook. So that we can compare the things, cash balances, and we can find out the difference. So it should be prepared at regular intervals. So based on this, we can uh, see the variations. Unused receipts should be kept in safe custody and under lock and key. So unused receipt should be kept in 
safe custody of the company. So these are all some of the steps to have internal check systems uh, in their company. The first one, cash receipts, and the second one, cash payment. So in case of cash payment, so here we can see the various uh, uh, possible ways of misappropriation. Even at the time of making payment, so there is a possibility of misappropriating cash. So the first way is crediting more amount of cash than the real. So it's just opposite of cash receipts. So here they have made a payment of 500 rupees, but they have shown in the cash book as 5000. Instead of showing 500, they showed excess amount. Showing fictitious payment. Fictitious means not the real one. So, making payment to some ghost name. Actually, a, a worker is very early, but still, a worker gives wages and a payment. So, that's called showing fictitious payment. Of course, there might be some other ways of uh, uh, misappropriating cash, but it is uh, these two are the major things that you should keep in mind while uh, uh, verifying the books of accounts. As an auditor, uh, how to check the books of accounts? So uh, here is a simple check. Internal check system for cash payment. Here there are some steps to follow. A separate responsible person for cash payment other than one who receives cash. And they say, so for receipt, there should be a separate cashier and for the payment, there should be a separate person. So, a same person cannot handle the receipts and payment. So, if we, if we allot the same duty to both of the people, so in that situation, so there will be high risk uh, for the company to manipulate or misappropriate the cash. All payments should be made in checks only as far as possible. So, Elli Varege Sadhi Atri, Alli Varege, our Ella payments Kalakuda, checks na formally Irvantadu, better option and get the day. Akanta Heli, for example, the auto payment Marbeko. So, uh, as far as possible, it's better to use checks instead of hard cash. Ma hard cash li payment madhu, checks karana use madhu, better option agirthadi. Payment with reference to appropriate documentary evidences. For all the payments made, so there should be some documentary evidences. So, if it is bill paid, so you should keep the bills with you. My purpose is a payment manigera, a purpose in a document means kana ulis kulwantadu important. Check should be signed by a responsible person. Of course, a cashier himself cannot sign the check and make the payment. So it should be signed by a responsible person. Unused checks should be kept in safe custody. Salaries and wages should be paid in the presence of responsible person while making payment of salary there will be two important person the first one cashier and another one is the employee for receiving salary or wages apart from these two persons another responsible person should be there to overlook all the activities of salary or wage payment continuous serial number should be given to checks and cash voucher so if, if we did this, so if any one particular number of check is missing, then we can easily identify the thing. So for that reason, should be serially numbered, the checks should be used by the company. Obtaining receipt for all the payments. So whatever the payment we do, so we should get some receipts. All cash transactions should be recorded in cash book. So here, one should not ignore any one cash transaction. So all the transactions should be recorded in a cash book. And 
And for the last one, bank reconciliation statement should be prepared at a regular interval. So here, the major intention of reconciliation statement is to find the differences between cash book and bank statement. So that so you can able to identify the difference in the amount and you can able to identify the reason for that. It's better to prepare bank reconciliation statement at a regular interval, maybe at the end of every week or at the end of every month. So they should prepare this statement. So we have seen cash receipts, cash payment. Other than this, we have one more concept, petty cash payment. So in case of petty cash payment, you know that petty cash payment means the payment of a smaller amount. So for example, if it is 10 lakh, we can easily give the 10 lakh rupees check. But if it is for 10 paise or 10 rupees, in that situation, it will be highly difficult to give checks for 100 or checks for rupees 10. So let us see how we can apply internal check system. There should be a separate cashier for making petty cash payment. So for the normal transaction, the payment should be done by one cashier and for the petty cash transactions, another cashier should do. So that we can easily identify the differences between the cash payment and check payment. Impressed system of cash should be maintained. I hope you know the meaning of impressed system of cash. In this categories of uh, cash payment, so payment made to employees, a lump sum amount paid to employees, maybe uh, uh, 1000 rupees paid to uh, the manager. And this manager is going to make all petty expenses, maybe expenses 1, expenses 2, or expenses 3, or uh, any a number of expenses. So he will do the expenses or he will meet the expenses out of his own pocket, our own pocket in our payment matter. So our uh, our again, company payment maru the lump sum amount. Maybe for this month they will uh, provide ten thousand rupees. E ten thousand rupees in the our manager employees give wages and a kurtare, electricity bill and a payment matter, traveling expenses of company, other than meet matter. So these are all the petty expenses. All the petty expenses are meet madli ke So again, in the next month, the company will pay 10,000 rupees to manage. So this is how the interest system of cash will uh, apply. So it's better to keep the books of accounts under interest system. So 10 rupees karcha gire. So, I tend to pay Skarcha than a climb Marlika on managing directors who rehook Bekantaheri ill. If we kept the books of accounts in our interest system, so it will be paid on monthly or fortnightly. So, it will be easier for him to manage. All petty cash vouchers should be serially numbered. Of course, all the vouchers should be serially numbered so that we can able to find out uh, the transaction or mismanaged. Loan repayment should not be done from petty cash. So loan prepayment repayment represents a large amount. So it should not be mixed with the petty cash amount. Petty cash book should be maintained to record all petty cash payments which should be signed by a responsible officer. It's better to prepared or to get a separate uh, cash account. So hope you understood internal check system regarding cash transactions. So here we have seen three major important aspects. The first one internal check system for cash receipts, cash payment and petty cash payment. So here in the first two cases we have seen how or the chances of misappropriation. And the second part explains the tips to incorporate internet check system for cash transaction. So hope you understood the video. Thank you for joining. Take care and happy learning.